The sky opened wide and I let my spirit fly into the vast universe past the chaos and hurt of this physical earth. The sky opened wide and I let my spirit fly into the vast universe past the chaos and hurt of this physical earth. Non-believers don't get to take trips on intergalactic spaceships, but I know a couple of brethren who have blueprints from Kimmet. They assembled a homemade rocket and asked if I wanted to take a trip, so I went. In the back seat of their star traveling car, I saw heavenly bodies in 3D, burning spheres of energy, exploding in blue, white, yellow, and green. Some just burned steadily. Beyond each one, I saw yet another one. That's when I understood that the Creator and I are one. Surrounded by loud nothingness, stress over deadlines, and fear of failure burned to ashes. Unfathomable miles away from home, we were only a fraction of the way through the system. And standing on the verge of forever, suddenly everything unthinkable became possible. And I cried. Because this is why I searched my whole life to dispel the lie that we're stuck here only to be born, reproduce, and die. This feeling of true freedom beyond all physical limitations. In light years, our ship arrived and there was something familiar about these red and orange skies. Our ship landed in a place inhabited by law-abiding aliens with Earth-like nuclear families. The difference between us and them was that they had three eyes, but they shrank away in fear when we passed by. I left my crew to deal with them and sought out an unlit road from which I heard a faint pulsating rhythm. In the distance, I saw a huddle, a group of beings standing in a circle. In unison, they bounced to the beat. It was quite like the music that I hear in the streets. Elders and youth were stinking under a three-moon sky. I couldn't help myself. I gladly joined in the celebration of life. They accepted me openly, the way brethren and sisters do at home where they know me. Vibrations shook the pavement, and we stomped oppression into the ground. I tripped because I found that no matter where in space you go, the struggle for righteous living goes on among all God's creations. I had to travel all the way to the outskirts of the universe to realize that it's the rhythm that uplifts and keeps us. The sky opened wide and I let my spirit fly into the vast universe past the chaos and hurt of this physical earth. Thank you.